If you leave negative comments like these beneath <laughs> tennis point videos on the internet, then what you don't realize is you're actually exposing yourself. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why that is and what you don't understand about tennis. I've been wanting to make a video like this for quite some time now, and that was a good opportunity because I've been posting a lot of videos of myself playing tennis, and we've received a lot of these types of comments saying that my rating or Ira's rating is not what we actually are posting. And I want to address this, not to bring anybody down or make fun of anybody or make anybody feel bad. There's enough negativity out there on the internet. I just simply want to educate people about the reality of tennis and how things are different than what they appear. So case in point, how is this possible? Recently, I posted some match play video of myself versus Ira, and we listed it as a four or five versus four or five tennis match. And these two comments were both underneath that very same match. How is it possible that one person watching Ira and I play tennis think that we're three five level players, tops, and somebody else thinks that we're 5.0? The difference between three five and 5.0 is like the Grand Canyon. The Grand the, Canyon. The Canyon. Canyon. It's a massive difference. 5.0 is the top couple percentage points in amateur players, and 3-5 is kind of middle of the road, competitive tennis player. So how is this possible, that people are watching the very same players play the game, and they have completely different perspectives of what it is that they're seeing on the computer screen? Well, something is happening here, and I'm gonna reveal what that is, but first, let's talk a little bit about ratings. How are ratings achieved? How are they actually judged. Well, ratings don't have anything to do with any of this. This is important. Power, spin, how many winners you hit, your swing speed, your coordination or athleticism, your speed, your strength, your fitness on the courts, or how pretty your swings look, how good your technique is. To be clear, all of these things can contribute, but some ratings committee doesn't go out there and like mark and judge your forehand, your backhand, your serve, your volleys, and come up with your rating. That's not how competitive ratings are achieved. Competitive ratings are based only on one thing, winning. That's it. A computer rating, meaning one that's based on competition, which is what Ira has and what I have had in the past, is based on winning or losing. If you win every match, your rating keeps going up. If you lose every match, your rating keeps going down. And so there are algorithms running behind the scenes that compare your results to your opponent's results, and then based on how you do against each other, you either move up a little bit or you move down a little bit. And this is the case with UTR. This is the case with NTRP, which is the system that we use here in the United States. And this is a good thing because winning and losing is an objective thing. A computer rating, which is what was in the title of our match play, me versus Ira, that's objective. That's not open to interpretation. That's actually his level of play based on real life results. Meanwhile, everybody who's saying, no, that's not XYZ rating, that's not 4.0, that's not 4.5, it's not 5.0, that's your opinion. And computer ratings are not based on opinion, they're based on results. So how is it that there's such a wide gap between these things? Because there's people who have the opinion that Ira and I were 3-5 or 4-0, and other people had the opinion that we were 5-0 players. Well, mostly Ira, because he kind of stopped me in that, in that match. But you get the idea, there's like a huge gap in what people were seeing. And so why is that? Well, I'm going to tell you why in a moment, but first, just, just so you know, those of you who are leaving those comments on our video, Ira's been competing at 4-5 or five for a dozen years, for 12 years, and twice the computer bumped him up to 5-0, and both times, you know, I don't know what your opinion is on this, but both times he appealed back down to 4-5, or five, and that's where he's currently competing. So those of you who are in the comments were saying, oh, I don't know, it looks like Ira's hitting 5-0 shots to me. He's been kind of bumping up against that top range or top end of four or five for many, many years. Me, I self-rated at 5-0 like 20 years ago, and I played 5-0 for a little while. I appealed down to 4-5 when I was on the East Coast like 12 years ago, 
and the computer bumped me back up again after a short period at, at four or five. So both Ira and I have been bumped up by the computer system, by the algorithm, up to 5.0. I did not appeal back to 4.5. Ira actually tried to get me to appeal back to 4.5. That's another story for another time. But Ira himself is kind of bumping up against the top of, of 4 or 5. So that's the reality of our ratings. And yet, there's people out there that are absolutely adamant that we are not the rating that we put in the title, even though that is the objective reality of where we play. So here's why that happens. This is unbelievably important. When you play tennis, there's a difference between what it feels like and the reality of what's happening out there. I am very, very, very familiar with this because I've seen myself on video thousands of times. And I know that many of you have seen yourselves on video too, and you can relate to this because you had a certain picture in your mind of what your forehand looked like, what your serve looked like, what your movement and footwork and just kind of general athleticism and coordination looked like as you move around the courts. And then that first time <laughs> that you see yourself on video, all that picture in your head is kind of shattered, right? And you come face to face with the reality of what you actually look like. I'd love to know, by the way, has this happened to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you watched yourself on video? This is important because I'm going to be sending this video you're watching right now to all the people for the rest of time that comment below our videos and say, oh, you're not XYZ rating because I want to try to educate people on what's happening when you watch a tennis video. So do me a favor in the comments down below. If you've experienced this, can you put just please like a sentence or two in the comments down below. Tell me your story about that first time that you saw yourself playing tennis and how different it was from what it feels like to play tennis. There's the kind of old cliche that the camera adds 10 pounds. Well, I like to say the camera adds 10 pounds. It also takes away 20 miles per hour from your swing speed, your shot speed, like your big serve doesn't look so big anymore when you watch yourself on video. And I've experienced this many times watching professional players in person. I've sat front row behind the baseline for Djokovic, for Nadal, for Federer. I've been super blessed and lucky over the years. And when you're watching them close, it's completely different from watching on TV. On TV, they look really, really good. In person, it's like, how is this possible? It is an incredible difference between what it looks like on TV and what it looks like in real person. And there's a huge difference between what it feels like to you and what it looks like on video. Two completely different things. So here's what happens when these people go and like try to bring people down and make fun of their rating or, or tell them they're not the rating that they say they are. There's reality distortion going on. Here's a, a little chart, and this is just purely for illustration. Like, this is not supposed to be accurate or, you know, here's what I mean. This is beginner, B for beginner. So this is like starting off playing tennis, and F is for Federer. So this is like, or Serena Williams, or whoever you, you th would say is the, like the, exp the greatest expression ever of what an incredible tennis player, you know, would be. So I've got a couple lines here. This is like the reality of where I play tennis here. Again, this is not like to scale or anything. This is just for illustration. So on that scale, here's where I play tennis right here. I'm, I'm four or five player right now. This is what I look like. My level is like on video. When I record myself and I watch myself back on video, things slow down. I don't hit the ball as hard as what it feels like in real life. This is my actual kind of level of play. This is what it looks like on video. Meanwhile, people watch on the internet. They're not aware of this gap between feel and real. And this is where they actually play. Maybe a little bit below where I play. Sometimes they're as good as me or better. But on average, most people who watch YouTube videos are not as strong as me. So this is just, again, just for, as an example. Let's say they're not quite as strong as I am in terms of their play. But their percep perception of what it probably looks like when they play is way up here. This is what it feels like to them when they play tennis. The reality of their level of play is down here. What it looks like when I play tennis is way below what it feels like to them. So to them, they're like, 
wait a minute, this is where I play and I'm whatever, I play 4-0 or whatever. This is what Ian looks like. And so they get triggered and say, wait, what's going on here? Like there's this, there's this friction in their brain. They're like, wait, 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 wait. Ian's saying he's 4-5, I'm a 4-0. Ian looks like a 3-5 in this video. Ian must be lying. <laughs> but the reality is they're not aware of this, this reality gap. They don't know that what they look like is actually somewhere down here. <laughs> They've never seen themselves on video. So in maybe you've seen me respond to these comments on YouTube before. My, I always say the same thing. Have you seen yourself on video? Or I'll say, oh, send me a video. Like they'll say, you're not four or five. I'm way stronger than you are. And my response is always, oh, send me a video. I I've never, not one time, had somebody send me a video of themselves playing after they make fun of my level, and then I ask them to send me a video of them playing. That's because the people who do this don't know the reality of their own game. So when they're clicking around the internet, they're watching different tennis players, you know, 3-0, 4-0, maybe 5-0, there's this gap in their perception, and they're not aware of this happening to themselves and also kind of the impact that it makes to watch on video instead of experiencing it in real life. So this is, this is why those comments happen. And I want nothing more than for every tennis player in the world who takes improvement seriously and who loves the game and, and who wants to develop their skills and who just basically, who wants to expand their knowledge and their perception of the game of tennis, I want every tennis player to see themselves on video. Now some of you won't do that because you're too intimidated and afraid of it. And that's totally fine. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. But those of you who are going around the internet making fun of other players, you need to record yourself before you judge anybody else. Because you, you need to discover for yourself what that big gap is between what it feels like to you and what's happening in reality. Until you watch yourself on video, when you go to a, a video online of a four or five player playing another four or five player, and you say, they're not four, they're three, five, which is like a gigantic gap. You're just exposing yourself. You're exposing uh, your own ignorance of your own level of play. You're exposing your own ignorance of what the difference is between real life and video. And so I, I just want nothing more than for all of you watching to be confident in your own skills, the skills of players around you. And so this video is just my way of trying to uh, bring a little bit more clarity and shed a little bit of light on this topic. Because I want all of you to be, feel comfortable and confident posting your own videos and watching yourself on video. But a lot of times it's more intimidating than it needs to be because of people making comments like that on the internet. So hopefully this is helpful. If it helps shed some light on the topic for you, do me a favor and click that like button. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to tell me in the comments down below if you've seen yourself on video what was that experience like the first time that you saw yourself hit a tennis ball? That's all for, for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.